Hello, this video is on rounding. Rounding a measurement to the correct number of significant figures. This is a really important skill to have when you do calculations, but this video is just to round the numbers, not to actually do the calculation. So this is uh, number four in your math practice packet. It's asking you to round these numbers to three significant figures. And in order to do that, we need to remember our rules for rounding, which you kind of already know, but there's one part that's a little bit different than the way you're used to rounding things. So the first two ideas are the same. If it's greater than five, you wanna round up. If it's less than five, you wanna round down. The thing that's different here is that when a measurement is exactly between the two values that you're trying to round to, um, you need to use the odd even rule, which means that you need to look at the number before the five, and if that number is odd, you'll round it up, if the number is even, you'll round it down. This is just because in science, if you're dealing with lots of data and lots of numbers, if you're always rounding up when the, the value is exactly halfway between, then your data is going to be skewed higher. So this kind of allows you to sometimes go down and sometimes go up if it's exactly in between two values. Okay, so if we're looking at number four, we're just gonna do a few of these. So for A, we wanna round these to three significant figures. So the first thing that I like to do when I know what I need to round, how many digits I need to round to, is just literally draw a line where I need to cut off the number. So for example, for 4a, if I want three significant figures, one, two, three, I need to cut this off right there. And once I know that cutoff point, I just look at this number uh, and it's five, which actually is a little bit troubling because if it's exactly five, that means it's exactly halfway between 0.8 and 0.9. And this is a time when we would have to use the odd even rule. So since it's exactly halfway, we actually have to look at the number before the five, and this is an eight. So eight is an even number. And the little trick here, if it's even, you need to round down, which means we're gonna keep this at eight rather than rounding up to nine. So it's gonna be 33.8 eight grams. So we had to use the odd even rule for that one since it was exactly halfway between 0.8 and 0.9. Okay, so the next one, again, three sig figs. So I know I need to cut off my number right there after 137, and the number after that is nine, which is clearly greater than five. So you already knew this, but if it's greater than five, you need to round up. So if you round up that nine is gonna to turn to 10, right? Which will make this number go up to an eight. So we'll get one, three, eight. But think about this, that is not your answer because you started with a number that was 137,928. It would not make sense for your number to be rounded to 138. That's way too small. So what you need to do is add zeros as placeholders to show how big the number really is. So. I need to make this on the order of 100,000, some number that's close to 100,000. So it's 138,000. So remember those zeros aren't significant. So this number still only has three significant figures, as long as you don't put a decimal point at the end. So this number, 138,000, is much closer to the original 137,928 millimeters. Okay. Next one, again, we want three sig figs. So count one, two, three, draw a line there. We have another problem, it's exactly halfway because we end with a five with nothing else after it. It's exactly halfway between seven and eight. Okay, so again, we need to look at the number before the five and this time it's seven, which is an odd number. So if we're using the odd even rule, if it's odd, it tells us to round up. So rounding up half the time, rounding down half the time. So the seven means we round up. So this turns into four, five, eight. And again, similar to the last one, you don't stop there. Um, you have to add a zero as a placeholder to make sure that the size of this number is the same as the size of the number you started with. And the units are seconds. Okay, so again, we had to use the odd even rule. Uh, let's do a couple more. E here is kind of tricky. We have one, two, three, cut off there. And we have a six, which is greater than five, which means we round up. So if we do that, it's gonna change 
this number to 10, which means this number has to go up, which changes that number to 10, which means this number has to go up to 4, which makes sense. Okay, so 3.996 gets rounded up to 4. However, remember we need three significant figures. So kind of similar to what you did up here, um, you need to this time add significant figures to give this number three sig figs. Right now it only has one. So to add the two other significant figures, you'll add zeros, but this time the zeros are significant because there's a decimal point here. So the zeros are showing your accuracy. And then the units are centimeters. Okay. Um, let's do one more that I think is particularly tricky, this H. So if we count three sig figs, cut off there. The number after that is a five, but it's followed by a one. So a lot of people are tempted to use the odd even rule here, but you shouldn't use it because it's not exactly halfway. That one makes it slightly higher, slightly closer to the higher value because it's a little bit above halfway. So rather than employing the odd even rule, you would just round up because this is greater than five. So this would turn into 40, 5.7 meters. Okay, so only use the odd even rule when it's exactly halfway between. That's probably the trickiest part. All right, good luck with rounding.